Hey guys and gals, DJ Zinna here. And Katie. With another taste test for some drinks. A drink. Yeah. This one's very tiny taste test. Also, the lighting here is shit. Out here is shit. But, Obviously. So, this is a uh, black currant cordial drink. And they have it in the UK and they reference it a lot in Dan and Phil videos. Right there. So, I wanted to try it. Mm. And it's called. It's Ribena. So, I'm scared, but I'm going to do it for the views. <laughs> I know this video is short, but we're putting, like, several short <laughs> videos out just to keep content while we're gone, so. Yeah. <coughs> that smell. Oh. <coughs> oh. It's sweet. They, in their video of them drinking this, one of the ones I watched, they called it an edgy raspberry. Mm. Like a res raspberry on the dark side. Should we drink from a cup or just drink from the bottle? Just swig it from the bottle. Nope. <laughs> I'm scared. Who's going first? You. Me? Yeah, you're going first on Why? this. Why? Uh, you're the you one. Because you bought who... it. Yeah. Because I'm the one that bought. Shit. Okay. Nope. <laughs> Not your thing. No. Do you like it? Kind of tastes like a huge sugar bomb. Really. Do you know what my mom said and my what? dad said? It tastes <laughs> like the juice you drink in communion. <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> Not even close. Well, I've you had... haven't had communion in a long time, so. Well, I still remember the taste of the shit. Uh, no joke. It wasn't... <laughs> This much of a sugar bomb. I can tell you that much from personal experience. The it, the it, juice you had in communion tasted more like like the sparkling grape juice you get in the glass bottles. Yeah. That's it, more what it tastes like. Yeah, it was kind of like that and sort of like a dry wine, if 26 you 26 grams of sugar? <laughs> like I said, it's a pure sugar bomb. Serving size 250 milliliters. You're supposed to dilute 1 PT Ribena to 4 PT water. Well, that so you're supposed things. to dilute it. Yeah. I don't think it would be any better diluted in water. <laughs> or are you yeah. just going to go ahead and give it a no? I'm giving it a no. I'm giving it a no. Yeah. <laughs> Not exactly our shtick. So. What do you rate it out of five? One. One? <laughs> it's good. Like, it's good flavor. I think it would be good if you diluted it, but I just don't even want to, like attempt yeah our friend cinder wanted to try it so i'm gonna save the bottle for her to try but yeah the rest of what we've got <laughs> no <laughs> no yeah so yeah that is a straight up nope from I need, us i need to go go uh drink some of my Proper soda. <laughs> that tastes gross. Yeah, that squirt that you have. Yeah, that. Yeah, I think I might go get myself an Arapaha blast to wash this out. Or oh. actually, screw that. Pause it. I've actually just remembered I've got one more soda for him to try that he's never oh. had before. Yeah. <laughs> so he's going to pause this and I'll be right back. And, and we're I'm back. back. So I've had this before and I love it. What is and it? there's several different versions. <laughs> there's like Inca Cola, which is from Peru, but it's golden. Um, there's uh, Cola, like Koala Cola. It's usually like you'll find it for a dollar bottle, but Walmart had it as a two liter. I think it's originally from like Peru. I'm going to look on here. 
This says it's in the United States, but where is it, like, originally from? It's got Spanish on it. Of course. Best before see the cap. Uh... But yeah, this is co uh, called Cola Champagne. Let me tell you how it's spelled, okay? K-O-L-A-S-H-A-N-P-A-N. Mm. Champagne. And that's the illustration on the front. <laughs> it, to me, it tastes a lot like bubblegum. Mm. But, like, it's very sugary. <laughs> it's got 30 grams of sugar in 8 ounces. Mom said that's probably why the Ribena was so potent because you're supposed to um, dilute it. it. So it's orange. This one's orange. You just can't see it in the light because the lighting sucks. Yeah. Let's hope I don't drop this. I found it in a two liter at Walmart. I don't remember how much it costs, but I love this stuff. It's the shit. <laughs> so. I guess we could title this Tasting Two International Sodas. Well, international drinks because Ribena's not really a soda. Like I said, it's a cordial drink. Yeah. So. Mm. Oh, that stuff smells so good. Mm. It smells like candy. You it first, because like I've had it before. Gum. Mm hmm. Mmm. <laughs> Definitely tastes like bubblegum. Strawberry, to be precise. It, have you ever had Iron Brew? No, haven't. It tastes like Iron Brew. Sounds, One time. Sounds alcoholic. No, Iron no <laughs> Iron Brew is a, another international soda. Mm. Forget where it's from, but I had a bottle of Iron Brew and I bought it to. It's in the international section at H E B, and I brought it to work one day, and everybody at Walmart and the lunchroom was like the break room was like what is that where is that from what does it taste like hmm does anybody think it was an alcohol no we're not allowed to have alcohol at work uh. Uh. but yeah that that's definitely a five star for me can I have the camera back Like I said, it's the shit. This particular brand's not as sweet as the Iron Brew, but it's good. And for the price, it tastes... It tastes like a very muted cream soda. Yeah, that's kind of what I was getting. Doesn't it taste like getting. cream soda? Yeah. Like the IBC cream soda? Yeah. Come here, you're leaning too far away from me. <laughs> so, what do you rate it? Do you like it better than the Ribena? Oh, yeah, definitely a five star on that one. I give it a four just because it's not quite sweet enough for me. But... Mm. Anyways, we're going to go. Peace out.